you're going to love me on this one. I think that the muscles found in your forearm that flex and extend your hand and pronate and supinate your forearm and your hand, those muscles, when you look at your list or you try to consult the textbook, they get like, oh, holy graciousness. But the fact is that when you look at them on our dead bodies, they're really, really, really straightforward. So I'm not going to do a walkthrough of all of them here. I'm going to um, do it in class because you, and once you get your gloves on and you start messing around with the um, arms of all of our dead people, it, it will, you will be like, dude, that, that's a piece of cake. I totally understand that. The one I am going to show you because I have a decent view of it here is this um, muscle that if you look at this hand, can you tell if we're looking at it from an anterior perspective or a posterior perspective? Hopefully you're like, dude, there's my capitulum, there's my trochlea, and therefore I must be looking at it from the anterior perspective. So this is lateral. And here's the muscle that we're actually going to look at right here. This muscle attaches to the middle part of the radius. And it actually attaches kind of on the lateral side of the shaft of the radius. And then it spans across the whole thing and attaches all the way up here on the medial epicondyle of the humerus. It also, look, this is the same muscle. It also has a little attachment apparently right there at the coronoid process. I love that. Look, there's my little coronoid process. But I'm, I'm cool with medial epicondyle because watch what happens when this thing, look at the fiber direction, when it shortens, look at how the natural action is going to be to actually flip the radius over the ulna, which is pronate. Talk to the hand. So here's my pronated uh, forearm, and you tell me, what, who is this muscle? It's pronate arteries. The rest of them, save them. In fact, here's another little gift. I'm not going to do any attachments that I know of for the rest of them. So my flexor carpes and my flexor digitorums and my extensor carpes and my extensor digitorums, we're not going to do any specific attachments for them. We will just um, do their actions and be able to identify them on our bodies, and that is a good thing. Okay, time for inferior limbs. I've got two chunks at this, and whew, I'm going to be happy when this is done.